and this is the amola tree it's perfectly edible I hope I'm gonna find some those still didn't drop down oh these are yeah not there yet mm. yummy mm. more of them here mmm mmm really nice fucking love it I love this almost all gone Hey guys, and this used to be my kindergarten. Now it's called Mirta, but in my time it used to be called Vera Bratonja. And I've been going down this uh, way so many times when I was a child, and up and down and up and down. You're gonna see it, it's such a beautiful place, this old house. <gasps> it's right by the sea. Whew, I feel so excited. I'm gonna show you where it used to be the house of a witch. Beautiful. Mi smo dečki, to pijemo stoječki. And there used to be the house of witch. Ooh. I'm not sure if I can go any further as an adult with a camera in the kindergarten area, but um, we used to play drunk people going up and down pretending that we are drunk. And uh, we used to play football there, and uh, it's really gorgeous place. I'm not sure if this is permissible, really. And the principal, she used to have an office on that first floor where is the balcony. And when I was a kid, I remember gypsies uh, throwing stones on us and cursing us. And I was fantasizing about going up to the principal's office and hiding behind the desk. It was even ethnically tense uh, even back then between those two races here. And that house used to be there. We really believe that the witch lives there. And uh, oh, I think I have to move the, the, <laughs> the blonde woman. Yeah, yeah. This is where upper class lives here in the beautiful villas by the sea. If you have a money in Croatia, you do live like a fucking god, man. This is exactly the beach where my parents met in the summer 1974. But back then, at that time, we didn't have abortions in Croatia. That happened in 1978. So my mother needed to, of course, get birth and my father decided to take the responsibility and they get married. Mountain Uchka and Opatia. This is all Quarner Bay. Beautiful island Tres, right there in front of us. 408 square kilometers. Then you have Island Kirk, also 408 kilometers. Then you have the sporting facilities of the shipyard and little marina upper class new villa is this guy a member of illuminati because those two horns there they look like uh, you know moloch so difficult to spot him without you know spotting his aura but i believe so if he has the money then he's probably a piece of shit and again the same beach the sports stadium is up there, I'm gonna show you that. I used to hang out here when I was a five-year-old with my father. I remember very clearly Stari Merkac, the old guy who lost one arm because he was fishing with the dynamite after the Second World War. Merkac or octopus. And these little cabins, it actually all, all this area started, I think, uh, after Italians occupied this part of Kaiserliche und Königliche Monarchie after the fall of the 
Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1918 and local people from Zamet area, which is one village and now it's part of Rijeka, uh, used to fish and made these houses for keeping their fishing equipment. I used to play there and uh, and now if you if you hang out there uh, they're gonna ask you what are you looking for and so on so you know little privileges of childhood are liberty of wandering around I'm not sure if you can see there these are the Italian bunkers from the Second World War they've been expecting invasion uh, you know Anglo-British invasion here so uh, they fortify this area most of the bunkers are gone but you can still see some remains it's actually a very nice place to chill out family place small people with the small boats not many psychopaths they place their nice yachts in the fancy marinas and this is for us well not for us for the good middle class who can afford that or upper middle class but you know dogs underdogs of the system I always love this uh, smell of rotten wood and uh, you know fishing equipment and it really brings me to my childhood and every single one uh, has uh, its own charm this is actually a place where middle-aged men are hiding from their women I spoke <laughs> with them about that and it's like a nice way of escaping the you know unnatural family life we've been kind of placed into post 1960s so yeah smell of mediterranean oh man i miss that hey matza Dear Mata, ah, this is the Baba. Really, guys drinking beer and a pussy cat here. Ah, she does get some money, she does for my city. Okay, oops. And this is this Italian bunker, you see, it's like everything is changing. Now they're adapting it into something else about it. It's very beautiful, posh villa. Look at that view, <laughs> beautiful. And this is the stadium. Armada are the football fans from my city. And this club is the champion of uh, Croatian Football League this year. Of course, it's all fixed. All players are Illuminati members, really are. And those who know anything about football, whose kids been actually training, know the mechanism when uh, kids are taken into the junior league. Not the best kids gonna be taken to the junior league, but their kids gonna be taken. And then from there they're gonna progress to the professional level. Because absolutely every game is fixed. Absolutely every single one. We are talking about 1% of society in my town, we are talking about 2,000 people in, okay? So, I never liked football. When I was 5 or 6, my father took me to the football match, we've been sitting somewhere there. I remember I was so bored that I went there and started to break some battery cartridges because that was more fun than watching the football game.
and this was the last time when he took me there. But uh, screw football, screw that Illuminati shit, look at this view, beautiful, huh? It's really beautiful. And the small harbor with the cat is there. And the beach is there. This is where my parents met. As I said, luckily in 1974-75 there was no possibility for abortion, so I'm alive. And let me now decode you this Illuminati monument right here. So first of all, the inscription. First on creation. Herovski borcima je žrtvama fašizma koji su dali svoje živote za oslobođenje zemlje i ljepšu budućnost naših naroda. Zahvali narod Kantride. Prvi peti, first May, which is Illuminati. Holiday 1957. So, heroic fighters and sacrifices, because this means also victims, but also sacrifices of fascism who gave their lives for the, now check this out, liberation of the land, country, and beautiful future of our people. So, they are sacrificed, but they gave us the freedom in 1957. Guys, we never had the freedom, especially in 1957. It's always same bullshit. Uh, they always bullshit you that you died for some uh, liberation and then we had to fight again for the liberation in 1991, 1995 and still we are still enslaved and occupied, okay? Illuminati holiday. What? This means uh, May, uh, using Roman letters. Now, you have here this phallic symbol, uh, the pillar, and uh, in Illuminati sacrifices, you will normally have the reptile you are using, um, pouring blood into the Kalish and then um, they will normally use the dagger and spin that blood which means basically sticking penis into the land which symbolizes us as a source of um, nutritious blood, okay? So, it also symbolizes the, you know, reptilian race which is more masculine and so on dominance. And then you have the pentagram, I don't know if you can really see it very well, but it's the pentagram and within the pentagram you have the male and the female symbol symbolized by the partisans, you know, male and female and they cross their uh, rifles in the symbol of the cross which means crossed and then, uh, then you have rays of light uh, shining from the star which basically all is Luciferian, uh, Lucifer is symbolized by the light and the pentagram is uh, very important on for the sacrifices because the pentagram enables you to protect the sacrificial energy from the entities which are trying to get it and you want to trade it and you want to give it either to Lucifer or to some other demons and of course it's the date when this sacrifice, mass sacrifice was happening in our country that was between 1941 and 1945. So in, on a plain side for the, for me and you the uneducated masses you have this political bullshit the fascism, the freedom, and now we are fucking free and all that bullshit. But in reality, you have that. You have a penis stuck into you, and you have, uh, well, Lucifer bragging about his project.